2011, I accomplished some things, pushed myself to new heights, won this belt, wrestled in Japan, became a staple in DG USA. 2011 was very well written in the chapter of my life. But it seems the one place I didn't quite make the impact I really wanted to was in my own backyard, Pro Wrestling Evo. Well, all of that was 2011. All this belts, all of this, kiss a goodbye. It's January 13th, at the Evo 8. Pro Wrestling Evo, prepare to get reintroduced to Caleb Conley. You want Evo action? Oh! 24-7, but now you can have it any day, any time. Evo On Demand, available January 1st, 2012. You know, it takes a special man to wear this hat. It takes a special man to wear that shirt with all, all the badges on it. A special man to follow this book word for word. I've carried all this to the ring with me, but I've also carried something else. The burden of knowing that if I lose in Pro Wrestling Evo, I'm done. You know, I've carried that for several months from now, and it's always been uphill battle, but you know, one match at a time. Usually one match in a night. But now, I find myself with my back against the wall, painted into a corner. I now have to win all my matches at the Evo 8. That's three matches. Against probably some of the some three best competitors of the whole field. I mean, we're talking about guys who would advance to the semis and then the finals. So, looking at the field the way it is now, I got my work cut out for me. But this is exactly what I wanted to prove, is that I deserve to be at the top. You know, my place is, is to be, you know, the man, or the man scout that is in Pro Wrestling Evo. Well, now I have to prove it. So it's do or die for me. It, it, it should be clear to all the people at home. It's very clear to me. So it's either I become the Evo 8 champion or I'm gone from Pro Wrestling Evo. So on January 13th, what exactly is going to happen? I guess we'll find out.